In version 0 0.7 I've added a few different features. Um, a couple of them were created from the desire to create complex objects, that is objects that have a hierarchy. Uh, this was for a, a very specific reason um, to begin with, um, but in addition as you've already seen in another video you can create complex trees with it. Um, and so I'll show you those objects now. Um, we've got a couple of trees there that are fairly straightforward um, and the original reason was uh, so that I could add lights to a scene so if you want to add the light in a post I actually have to uh, click on these during the recording of the video my double clicks don't work if you're wondering why I don't just double click on these icons um, so you can have lights there uh, you can position them around the track there are limitations to the number of lights you can have in our factor. I think it's four per um, section of road. Uh, by section of road I mean something that constitutes a, a GMT file. Um, you can break the road up into different sections by using this um, tool and setting the material um, at different positions around the track and that'll give you different GMT files. So it's only four lights per, per GMT section. Um, back to the the lights here. You've got pit in, pit out. I'll just tick all of these and throw them down one by one. Um, the girder is so that you can make up your own start lights, or you can use these fully um, customized ones already, fully designed, all together with the clothes and everything. Um, or you can stick that back over here on your pole and line it up better than I have there. Um, or you can put another one there um, and of course you'd need to rotate these so that they, they looked good um, and these objects are actually made up of several objects um, it's all done for you behind the scenes in the X-Packer utility um, the glows that you see there have to be named a specific way and the, the objects themselves named specifically um, for it to work in R-Factor, otherwise it won't come out. So to export, again it's just a simple export to R-Factor, switch to R-Factor. For testing the lights you need to be in a race weekend, they won't fire up during just normal testing. And we should see it. Let's get a bit closer. There you go. So it's um, going to make one more process of, of making a complete track um, a bit easier. And um, version 7 of Bob's Track Builder should be out uh, around the end of April. All things going well. Thanks for listening.